Flux's proof of useful work is just around the corner and I've started to get the itch and I'm excited and ready. So I've started to purchase up some hardware to get ready for day one. When to mine is the app you need to automate your mining rig. The automatic coin switching and power switching makes your rig even more profitable. You're up and running in 10 minutes, supporting over 250 coins. The app tells your rig what to mine and when to mine, increasing your profitability. Try it out for free for seven days. Go to whentomine.io. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, if you're watching this, I'm actually recording this in June. And just a few weeks ago, the Flux team had a live stream and they went ahead and unveiled a number of items and details about Flux proof of useful work. This is a project that I've been really excited about for a while, but we haven't really known much about it, especially when it comes down to hardware requirements. Well, coming up in a few weeks in July is Mining Disrupt, and I will be there, as well as a handful of other content creators and community members, and F the Flux team is actually going to be unveiling even more about proof of useful work at that event, and I believe their beta is going to be kind of talked about and maybe released for proof of useful work, maybe at least for their test net. I'm not really sure all the details, so I'm excited to find out here in the next few weeks. But all of that said, Flux proof of useful work. I've got the itch a little bit, and I've decided to go ahead and buy a little bit of hardware to start to dabble with and prepare for Flux's proof of useful work. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I bought and my game plan for it. All right, so before I open this up, I have to give lots of credit and kudos to the Mining King. So please go over and check him out. I'll put a link down below, subscribe to his channel. Him and I discussed this at length. I actually got this idea from him. Um, he actually had a YouTube short on this and I went ahead and checked it out and I was like, oh my gosh, how am I missing this? This is such a fantastic idea. Chatted with him at length over the last few weeks about it. So this is not my idea. This is not original. He's actually a guy that I got the idea from. So huge shout out to the Mining King. All right, what is inside? What is this thing? A desktop computer? All right, so what in God's name did we buy and how old is this thing? So this here is a Dell Precision Tower 7810. This is one of those like workstation beefy rigs that people would use for CAD or other things like that. I got it used off of eBay. Now the Mining King, Man, guy found a huge steal. He found them locally and got it for like $40, which is amazing. This one cost me on eBay $200 and I got free shipping off of it. But I don't expect you guys to spend $200. So please go ahead and look on like places like Facebook Marketplace, find something local and get it cheap. So let me get this opened up and I'll explain exactly why I went ahead and bought this for proof of useful work. All right, let's pop this open here. All right, so proof of useful work, especially for Flux's project, is not going to be just keeping in mind for GPU. It's gonna use a variety of different things. By the way, look at this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and mine with this Quattro P620. <laughs> look at that thing. All right, so let me get this up this way. I'm gonna take a seat here so we can talk. So, Flux's proof of useful work is going to use not only your CPU, but it's going to use GPU, it's also going to use your memory, uh, and even storage. It's going to keep in mind all of these things. And it's going to benchmark um, your entire rig. And if you guys haven't seen, I'll actually show you guys here. There's my sleeping dog down there. So I was actually just reading up on this, watching up on this a little bit, I might as well show you. The Flux team, you got Dan Keller here, you got Jeff Key, and you got Alex. Alex is the guy really behind a lot of the proof of useful work. Anyways, they have a full live stream, an hour and 22 minutes talking about proof of useful work. And you can see here, like on the motherboard, it says, choose a motherboard that supports PCIe Gen 3 with at least X8 uh, lanes that will ensure efficient data transfer. Then your CPU. The CPU must support uh, virtualization, it's essential. 
uh, select a CPU that offers a minimum of four threads um, uh, for each of the GPUs on the motherboard, and then memory even down here. The minimum uh, RAM requirement should be equivalent to the total VRAM available on the GPUs, plus an additional 25%. So you need a boatload of memory to support this. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I went with this. So this is kind of like a guinea pig. This is a this is a stepping stone. This is me testing the waters here. I don't expect you guys to spend 200 bucks on an old Dell desktop uh, workstation computer. But the reason I went with this, huge shout outs to the Mining King, just watching his channel, checking things out, is it, it supports two processors. So there's a processor in here. Uh, it's a Xenon. Let's see, what do they have in here? They wrote on it and stuff. Xenon E5 2630. I'm probably going to replace this. Um, with more, uh, one with more cores. Uh, I'm gonna try to max this out. That's kind of my thoughts and my game plan here. So this is my first video getting into this. So we have one Xenon processor here. I can add a whole nother processor right here. And you know how it talked about like CPU is gonna be super important for this. Well, Xenon processors are perfect for this. We can get multiple cores, multiple threads, which will be awesome. Now, memory, we have lots of options. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I don't know how this comes out. But there's actually two sticks of memory right up in here. There's two sticks of memory down here. Then you have two dim slots here. Uh, and then I think there's two up here. I'm gonna have to take this apart a little bit more. As I said, I just got this, so I'm excited. So we're, my plan is to max out the memory and then to get the max CPUs I can put in here, these Xenon processors, which are more traditional for servers in there. Now, let's talk about GPUs. So this one here has you can see PCI, uh, and then this is an X8, this is an X16, uh, and then you have another X16 in here. So three slots that we could use, because you remember it talked about X8, but I'm not gonna fit three GPUs in here. I'm actually lucky to get two, and it's not necessarily, like two would be fine, and I'll actually talk about the GPUs in a second here. Two would work out great, but where's my, Where's my limitation here, right? Well, it's actually, let's see if I can get this thing off. So this guy here is a 685 watt power supply. I can get a bigger power supply, okay? But these boards, check it out. This is like a breakout board, just like we would with like our 1200 watt power supplies, right? Well, I'm kind of limited because look, there isn't really any additional, I think one of these goes to, oh yeah, like here, look, this guy's free. It's only a six pin though but if there's an eight pin here. So I could take a new PCI cable, go eight pin and go up to a GPU up here and I'll be okay. But you don't really have additional slots up here. So I got like ports for power. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Do I upgrade the power supply? Is there other, I, Dell calls these distribution boards, distribution power boards, I think. Um, we call them, you know, breakout boards. So is there an alternative I can use? My goal is to get two GPUs in here. And you might be asking, well, what GPUs? Well, I'm actually gonna be looking at the RTX 3060 M's. And the reason I'm looking at those is because the additional memory that they have versus your traditional 3060. So I'm gonna be looking at, you know, memory's big, right? Memory's huge here. Well, the 3060's got some decent sized memory to it. The M's got a little more beef and horsepower to it. Uh, but remember, uh, the, you know, you need to have significantly more memory on the rig uh, than the GPU as well. There's a whole deal. What does it say? A minimum memory should be equivalent to the total VRAM available on the GPUs plus 25%. So like, you know, you're gonna take whatever memory you have on your GPU plus 25% is what they recommend. So I'm gonna max this thing out. So here's my game plan is over the next few weeks, I wanna go ahead and buy up this new hardware. I'll have, I'll have some videos here showing you guys how I'm making out, how we're doing, um, you know, kind of what I'm changing, what I'm adding. There's lots of stuff we can gut in here. Gonna get rid of all the Dell, you know, like plastics they got in here, clean this thing up. You know, there's like a um, CD-ROM drive in here, I think, right? I don't know, there's a blank plate for it. Okay, so we do have like a slot here available. But we're gonna clean this up. We're gonna gut it, get rid of all the additional stuff we don't need. One thing I didn't touch on a little bit was storage. We are going to go ahead and we can get, now the nice thing is, is like, all right, well, is storage really, like is 
one terabyte needed or two terabytes or four terabytes and then doesn't need to be a solid state drive. Those are all things I'm thinking about, um, but we'll have plenty of spots to kind of put some of those in here. So Dell Precision 7810 is what I got. I'll put a link down below to this uh, if you guys are looking for it. Uh, but yeah, I thought this would be like a perfect stepping stone for me. I even thought about buying more of these. But I want to get one up and running, and then when they come out with their benchmark, run this on their benchmark after I get it filled and see how it does. Now, granted, we're going to spend some money here. Like, we spent 200 bucks on this right here, right? Well, we're going to replace the Xenon processors. Who knows what they cost? Maybe we'll do a live stream. That's what we'll do. Next Thursday, coming up here, we'll do a live stream, and we'll go through specking this out and how much more it's going to cost. Maybe we'll have that in a future video. But yeah, we got to buy processors. We got to max out memory in here. We got to figure out the power supply deal. So I'm excited. It's a new project to go down and I'm eager to see how it goes. All right, guys. So I'd love to hear your plans for Flux Proof of Useful Work. I know a lot of you guys have been interested in Dynex recently. Dynex Proof of Useful Work with Flux definitely going to operate significantly differently based off of everything I've learned. I am going to leave a link down below to that live stream. It's an hour and 20 minutes. If you're interested in Proof of Useful Work, watch it. It's well worth it. It answered a ton of questions for me to help me understand a little bit more how this project's exactly going to work. I'm excited. Something new, something different. You know, we talk about AI, we talk about Proof of Useful Work being kind of crypto mining 2.0. It's kind of like taking us into the future here. So I'm eager to get into something new. Leave me a comment down below. What are your thoughts on Flux Proof Useful Work? What's your game plan? What hardware are you hoping to buy? What do you, you know, are there, are you getting 40 90s or where are you spending your money and how are you getting ready for it? So when it does hit, you're all set up and ready to go. Well, if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it one of these and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Where are my GPU miners at? I'd like to introduce you to hobbyistminers.store. Who can turn down a high quality t-shirt with your favorite Nvidia graphics cards in a simplistic design? The spring 2023 collection just dropped a few weeks ago with 17 brand new limited edition designs. What makes them limited edition? Well, every three months, a brand new collection is released and their previous one is decommissioned forever. It'll never be sold again. Stop on over and check out your favorite GPU mining t-shirts at hobbyistminers.store today.